I'm always gonna say this about sandals, like the prices are too high. They're too high. I think sandals needs to get off their high horse and lower the price. What's up you guys and welcome back. If you're new, my name is Heather and I love sharing all inclusive resort reviews with you guys. I am also a hairstylist and my husband is a travel advisor. We have three kids and we love bringing these videos to you guys, hoping to help you find the best resort possible for you and your family. Sometimes these resorts are good and sometimes they're not so good. So we're here to help you guys get the most bang for your buck, where to spend your hard earned money, show you the good, the bad, all the ins and outs of the resort. So if that sounds like your type of video, then definitely stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button, give us a comment. And if you need any help with your travels, definitely hit us up. Our links are down below in the description box of how to get a hold of us. So let's jump into this video. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know we're trying to branch out with these all inclusive. So we decided let's go back to the Eastern Caribbean and try Barbados. They had a beautiful sandals property here that I was reviewing online. You know we just went to Sandals in St. Lucia. I absolutely fell in love with the property there and thought, heck, let's try one more Sandals property, see if it's just as good. Now Barbados is a little bit further down than St. Lucia, but the flight wasn't too bad. We jumped over in Miami and it was about a four hour flight from there to Barbados. Now to get from the airport to Sandals Barbados, it's about a 20, 25 minute drive, so not bad at all. When you do stay at Sandals, your shuttle is complimentary, so that was a plus. With the short ride, we were there in no time. So with all of my resort reviews, I break everything down from the beach, the pools, the food, the entertainment, of course the rooms, so you guys can get a feel and see if it's somewhere you might wanna go. So definitely check out the timestamps below if you wanna fast forward to any certain section. Now we stayed in the St. Lawrence building. We had a Butler swim out suite. I know the category name is a lot longer. If you've ever been on Sandals websites, they have so many different room categories. It's insane. And they love to nickel and dime you for each and every different type of room. One thing I don't like about Sandals, but this room we had was absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Let's just start with a room tour to kick off this video. One thing I loved about this room was how brand new and modern and updated it felt even though this resort is not brand new the rooms were so nice versus when we were in st lucia staying at that sandals property the rooms felt a lot more dated so definitely the rooms stuck out to me when i was looking for where i wanted to stay i did want to mention that on this sandals property there are two different sections we are staying on the royal side and then they have their og side basically and the rooms there were just a little bit more outdated. And so that's why we chose to stay on the rural side. If you look at prices, you'll notice that's why the prices are a little higher to stay in this section or on this side of the resort. I do have a few complaints about the room. It's not perfect. The beds were a little hard. The sheets were a little rough. And our swim out suite was gorgeous. But as you can see straight across, that is a restaurant it had very little privacy especially when you come and want to soak in the tub or just have your swim out view um it just you've seen people walking by you've seen golf carts driving by so i would have liked a little bit more privacy so just keep that in mind if you're looking at these swim up rooms in the saint lawrence section so it is now 6 30 we arrived here about 3 30 3 45 and we have been sitting here for almost two and a half hours waiting on our luggage. No clothes. It's my time, ladies, if you know what I'm talking about. And I did not have any extras, so that was fun. So I told Ty, I was like, please just go find our luggage. We called and asked, and that was the most frustrating part for sure. On top of us just being hungry because there's not really any grab and go bites because we showed up basically around dinner time, you know. That's been the only drawback, but everything, like I'm eating room service right now. We um, got it, you know, after calling about an hour ago. So definitely room service takes a little bit, but. And then I just found out, not only did I leave my makeup brushes back in Texas, like I packed my makeup, but I didn't pack my makeup brushes. Like, whoa, I didn't bring a hairbrush. Like, how many times have we done this? Ty is in the gift shop. Thank goodness they have a full service shop here with everything. They found a wet brush, so I am saved. I'm gonna finish up my uh, room service here and then get 
ready for dinner because you know I'm gonna eat twice. I am starving. So not the easiest start here, but it is a gorgeous place. I do really think that we're gonna have a good time. I have a checklist because I don't ever do a checklist anymore because it's like second nature to us to travel and look what happens, you know? So, okay, more to come. Stay tuned. So now let's talk about the beach. This is one reason why a lot of people flock to Barbados is their gorgeous white sand beaches. Now I'm gonna be a little Debbie Downer. The water was beautiful. The colors were electric and vibrant. The sand was super soft, not much seaweed, but it was rough. So if you are looking for a calm beach, then this may not be the place for you, especially if that's like number one on your list. Now we did have a couple, very few days of just calm water where we could get in and just enjoy the ocean. But most of the time, the waves were so intense, like no one was getting in the ocean. And there are other beaches in Barbados with calmer waters. So if that's important again, then you might wanna stay somewhere else. But it wasn't a big letdown to us. They had plenty of seating on the beach, which I loved. I mean, the chairs do get taken pretty quick, so you gotta be an early riser here. I loved the beach bar service. That is one thing that was different here versus staying at Sandals in St. Lucia. They had no waitresses or waiters walking around taking drink orders or delivering food. Here, they do. So that was nice about Sandals Barbados. And another thing I love about Sandals properties is they include snorkeling and water sports and a lot of different things that maybe some other all-inclusives might charge you for. So we definitely took uh, advantage of the Hobby Cat, went out, that was a lot of fun. Now let's break pools down. So they've got two main pools here. One is this gorgeous infinity edge pool. It's got the see-through glass front, great for pictures and just viewing the gorgeous ocean and the colors. I really did like this pool, but it did not have a swim up bar. That is a big issue for me personally. Some people maybe not. Bar isn't far away, but I had to mention it. <laughs> so if you're looking for a fun upbeat pool vibe this is the pool to come to they have the games they have the fun music while this section over here is a little bit more on the quiet side. They didn't play very much music. If they did, it was very soft and quiet. They did have a volleyball game there one day, but yeah, it's more chill. It's more relaxed over here. They do have a jacuzzi as well, but more importantly, this pool has a swim-up bar. They even had cute little monkeys running around and you could see them in the trees, which I thought was so neat. So we definitely were at this side more it felt like just because of the swim up bar even though the infinity pool was way prettier another pool is located right behind the lobby if you're looking for some extra peace and quiet you will find it here no one was ever really hanging out here so you will have it to yourself and then the pool that was in front of our room our building is known as the quiet pool like you come here and read there is a bar you can walk out and get drinks to, but if you want some peace, some zen, extra quiet, that's your pool right there. Another pool is located right in front near the main lobby. We didn't really hang out here. It was just kind of a far walk. I like to be near the ocean, get that ocean breeze. It does have a swim up bar and it played a little bit of music. And then I also picked this property, you guys. I know it's kind of weird that I picked the property just because it had a rooftop pool, but look at this. It's absolutely stunning up here. We didn't come up here and swim very much because it was cold with the wind, but just to come up and get these views at nighttime, they had a fun bar. Oh my gosh, it was so neat. I loved it. So no matter what type of pool vibe you're looking for, they have it here. They have so many to choose from, you won't be disappointed. Now let's move on to food and drinks. Going back to the disappointing word. Now the drinks were not disappointing. Loved all the drinks, fabulous. I just wish I could say the same for food. So let's start out breakfast, lunch, dinner. Breakfast, they have a few little spots. If you're not a big breakfast eater, they have a donut and coffee shop. The donuts here are amazing. No complaints about the donuts. I loved that they had a donut shop. If you want a breakfast buffet, you can go over to the tavern. It's pretty standard. It's not amazing, but it's not bad by any means. 
Now you can go up to the rooftop and eat your breakfast, which I thought would be amazing views, but it took forever, you guys, and it wasn't that great. So just stick with the donut or the buffet. Lunches were my favorite here. I love this beachside grill where you can get quesadillas and burgers and pizzas and just be by the ocean in the pools, nothing fancy, no cover-ups needed. Then they also have servers that would come around and take orders. They had some barbecue wings on there and some other little yummy items. They do have a jerk shack here, which was a favorite when I went to St. Lucia Sandals, but it's at the very front of the property away from the beach. I mean, it was kind of hot sitting under here. You didn't feel much breeze. The food was good. It's just, I wish it was by the beach like it was in St. Lucia. They do have Neptunes, which is a set down and order type of lunch place. As you can see, it gets super busy, but I just didn't understand were they short on staff because there were tons of tables open, you guys, and the food took forever here. I just don't like taking an hour and a half to two hours for lunch out of my pool, my beach day, so not my favorite there. Moving on to dinners, one of my absolute favorite places was soy. It was a just walk up, no reservations required sushi bar. Everything we tried was absolutely amazing. We came back here twice, if that tells you how good it was with all the restaurants you do have to choose from. We did do hibachi one night. When we first arrived, they said they were completely out of reservations, but we actually just showed up one night and said, hey, do you have two seats available? And it worked for us, thank goodness, because the food was actually really good here at Soy, both sushi and hibachi. The French restaurant was the biggest letdown. I mean, it was so popular and hard to get into and there was no one even here, so I didn't understand that. But the food, it was below average, you guys. Like, it did not impress me at all. The steaks, the French onion soup, it was just, it was a letdown for a French restaurant. We actually went back over to Soy and ate some sushi. I also forgot to film when we ate at Neptune's, which is over by the pool. The food was just not great there either. I don't have a lot to say about it other than it just wasn't good. Um, Butch's Steakhouse, not bad, more average to good, but just the dinners didn't impress me here. For the price that you're paying for this resort, I expect excellent, like all the way, because Sandals is a very expensive brand to stay at. When I make these videos, I'm completely honest with you guys, and I've honestly had better food at a three-star all-inclusive resort versus here. On a positive note, I did love the cafe that they had here. We came here every night after dinner because we were still hungry. <laughs> they had ice cream, crepes, were my favorite, so good. I mean, just if you have a little sweet tooth, they got you covered. Let's see if I can set you guys up. No, it's not good. I have nowhere to set the camera. Wait, wait, okay. You know the drill if you've been on my channel before with these travel reviews, I come in here, I tell you my thoughts, you know, while I'm on the trip of what I'm thinking, pros, cons, all that kind of stuff. I'm always going to say this about sandals, like the prices are too high. They're too high. I think sandals needs to get off their high horse and lower the price. Sandals does have some really good all-inclusives that are in some very different location, but to St. Lucia and Sandals, they have St. Vincent, they have Grenada, they have Antigua, they have Curacao, they have so many cool locations. But let's get back to the Sandals name. If you watch my Sandals St. Lucia, I talk about how I just don't understand the pricing of Sandals. Like if you've been to a Secrets property, you know Secrets are kind of high. Well, Secrets blows Sandals out of the water when it comes to as a whole. For sandals, you're basically paying for that OG, you know, name, you know, sandals used to be number one in all-inclusives. Now I think a bunch of other resorts have caught them. I love all the lush greenery and flowers and trees and just, I love that about a property. So, you know, 10 out of 10 when it comes to Sandals Barbados with the property grounds, love it. The pools, well, they're okay. I like the infinity pool. However, there's no swim up bar. That's a big, big no in my book. You gotta have a swim up bar, you know? When you're charging what you're charging for sandals, you gotta have a swim up bar. Now they do have a swim up bar on the old side, which is Sandals Barbados, as I discussed the difference between Royal and just, you know, the original side. Um, and they have a swim up bar, but the pool's like teeny tiny and yet, and it's just kind of outdated and you just don't get that like luxe feel like you do at the infinity pool. I love the rooms. They're very modern. They're very clean. However, however, I do have a complaint about the room. That bed is awful. 
that is terrible. It is uncomfortable. It is rock hard. The sheets feel like sandpaper. So when I'm paying this much, can you have some soft sheets? Um, they did upgrade us when we got here, so that was super nice of them. But would I pay the price for this swim out butler suite? Hell no. Room, super expensive over here, but it is nice except for the beds. Food. Food has not been the best. Like when you're paying these steep prices for a five-star luxury all-inclusive, like Sandals claims to be, you expect that five-star gourmet dining. I mean, like when we had our steak and lobster the other night, like that was terrible. You couldn't even cut into the steak. I mean, the lobster was not fresh at all. I have not been impressed with the food here. Some places have been good. Um, I swear the best meal we've had has been at um, Soy, which is the walk-in kind of sushi bar. That was really good. Yeah, the bar on the beach with the quesadillas, that's been really good, but just, I have not been impressed with the food, which kind of stinks because if you're a foodie and you're paying these prices, that could be a letdown for you and it could be a deal breaker. If you are someone who has not traveled to very many resorts to compare, then you might think this is amazing quality when someone like me who makes these travel videos for you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be real. I'm going to have all these other all-inclusives in the back of my mind saying, hey, um, the food's not that great because we've had better at a three-star paying, you know, a fraction of the cost. Each their own on certain opinions, but, you know, I'm just... You're watching my video for my opinion, obviously, and to create your own. I don't like how you have to have a butler room to be able to get the reservations that you want. Like they make it super hard here to get into some of the restaurants, they do. So unless you have a butler, unless you wanna spend, you know, 12 grand on your room, then you might have some issues getting some reservations. And I don't feel like this resort is like crazy busy, but they do have a lot here that do not require reservations. So I guess that's a plus. Like this is our second Sandals property we visited. There are some diehard Sandals fans here. Like when I go and talk to people, I ask them like, so have you? But also these are people who have never been anywhere else. Like they went to one sandals and they just stuck to it. So I'm just like, you don't know what you're missing. Just venture out to other resorts. Go try a Secrets, go try a Hyatt, you know, like <laughs> go try other ones and you'll see what I'm talking about, man. Don't be too hard on sandals because it's not bad here. It's not bad. I don't want you to just come at me in the comments and be like, oh, Heather, you know, but food could be better. My bed could be better. Um, pricing, pricing could be better. But in all in all, we've had a good time. Gentlemen, tonight we're gonna take you on a musical journey with some of the most talented musicians anywhere in beautiful Barbados. One thing I loved about Sandals Barbados is all the stuff it had going on at night. From shows, to piano bars, to live music, to bowling, a little dancing. Something that I'll hand it to Sandals is they do include some free snorkeling. Um, if you're scuba certified, you can do that as well. Since this tour is complimentary, I was not expecting much, but I was pleasantly surprised. The boat they took us on was very nice. Uh, the guides were awesome and it was a, about a three hour little excursion. So not bad at all. The waters were gorgeous. We saw lots of fish. We seen some sea turtles. They took us to some really neat shipwrecks. So it's a nice little thing that you can sign up for when you go stay at a sandals. That'll save you a couple hundred dollars from paying for an excursion off the property. 
something that our guide did was grab my GoPro and swim through the shipwreck. It's a little jerky here, but I thought that was so neat. He was down there for like a minute. It was insane how long he held his breath. But that about wraps up this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you appreciate my honesty. Of course, everybody's opinions can be different, but I just like to share these videos so you can decide for yourself, is it worth the money to come here? And I will say we had a great time. Know that you are leaving us. They even sung a nice little goodbye song for us. So again, thank you so much for watching. I've got lots of videos coming up soon. I know it's taken me a while to get some of these up. We went on a cruise with our family, got a lot to say about that. Let me know down in the comments if you would come to Sandals Barbados and where we should go next. So if you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe and just remember, we can book anywhere you wanna go, whether it's international or domestic, cruises, the Caribbean, if you want to go to Greece, all the things we can do for you guys. So definitely hit us up. We try to find the very best prices for you guys. No price gouging, upcharging like some other TAs do. Just a small business that me and my husband have started. You can check out our Facebook page also. We share weekly deals. We also share real client reviews with their photos from their vacations and their feedback. Thank you guys so much for watching this channel and supporting me and my husband and my little family. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a great week and I can't wait to share the next video with you.